Hello everybody, just wanted to make a short video. <clears throat> Never ceases to amaze me. I just got done building this uh, Bedidi style generator uh, for my brother. And uh, I was running it with a 12 volt battery and having it uh, top off a 6 volt. And uh, 6 volts isn't quite enough to run it, but it's enough to trigger the coil. Um, right now my 12 volt battery is sitting here and it'll go from 12 520 to about 12 530 uh, it started off at 12 5 but I just been playing with the Benini and just kind of spinning it by hand and watching a 6 volt battery charge a 12 volt battery and that'll never cease to amaze me so the 12 volts on the charge side that's what I got the meter hooked up to and this little uh, Power Wheels batteries on the on the run side. But just to show you, uh, I'll hold it here for a second so you can see that the meter isn't changing that much. It flickers 5.2 to 5.3. Now watch what happens when I spin it. I have to hold it to spin it, so hang on a sec. Okay, so I'm spinning it. If I keep playing with it enough, it will uh, won't take too long. It will stay on 5.3 and then go from 5.3 to 5.4. So, like I said, it's a 6 volts isn't quite enough to run it, but it's enough to trigger the coil. Here, I'll stop the wheel. Okay, so you see it's going back and forth a little bit more. I'll spin it again. So you can see it's charging. And you know a 6 volt battery isn't going to charge a 12 volt battery. That is, it's impossible. You're not going to charge, you're not going to hook up a battery, even a 12 volt battery to another 12 volt battery and charge it up any higher than, you know, the batteries combined the average it did this won't do it let alone taking a six full battery and charging a 12 so I mean it's it's undeniable that the the radiant energy is what's doing the charging and uh, it just it, it just never ceases to amaze me never ceases to amaze me it's just too cool Free energy, gotta love it. Spin it again. Just enough to trigger it. <clears throat> and I, I know from uh, past experiences that uh, the slower the motor runs, uh, the better it charges. And what I mean by that is, is you know, say you're getting two to one, you're putting uh, 100 milliamps in it to uh, to run it, and say you're getting a 50 milliamp charge on a 12 volt battery. Take two 12 volt batteries. When you slow it down, instead of being uh, 100 milliamps, you might slow it down, and it's only drawing 50 milliamps. And then it, it might only drop down to maybe 40 milliamp charge. The scale changes. Because unlike any other motor, when you put a load on this, it doesn't draw more energy, it draws less. And the less current you use to pulse the motor, the more radiant energy you get off of the coil to charge the battery. I got videos that I've shown and proven that, and I've seen videos from other people that have proven it. And it's pretty cool. And it's the simplest way to do it is uh, to hook up a piece of wood here with a hole drilled in it, all threaded so you can put a screw in it that'll reach over real close to this magnet. So while it's running, I can just screw the screw in, and uh, the extra drag uh, from the magnet attracting to the the metal screw will slow it down and you know so 
the, you know, with the threads you can adjust it, you know, closer or farther away, you know, pretty, uh, pretty precise so you can effectively adjust the RPM of the um, Bedini motor. And you can adjust it to where you get the sweet spot where you're, you're taking the least amount of energy from the battery to run it and getting the most radiant energy off of it to charge a battery. You know, there's a lot, a lot of variables. I mean, I got one variables. I got one coil on this, and it's a trigger coil, so it can run the motor. But I can make, I can put two more coils on this, and have it adjusted like, like this is now with the six volt battery. But with the twelve volt battery, I can have it. Uh, I can add more resistors so that it, that the other two coils, neither one of them will run it by itself, but it'll be enough to trigger it. So there'll be charging coils, and. Uh, and only have one coil with just enough energy to run it. Because once you get it spinning, the centrifugal force is going to add to it. And then, you know, it, it's really going to spin. Then you can cut back on the energy a little bit more and get more charge out of it. Um, but with one coil, you know, there's 5.2. If I play with it enough, because when I started it was uh, 12.5. And then I got it to stay to 12.51. Then I got it to stay to 12.52. It wouldn't take much more. It would stay to 12.53. Uh, but as I'm playing with it, I'm just thinking, you know, this is just too cool. Thank you, John Bedini. Yeah, God rest your soul. Thank you for what you've uh, given to humanity. You and many others. Uh, for anybody that didn't know, John John Bedini passed away four hours after his brother did, which is pretty odd. And Joseph Newman, he passed away in 2015. You know, uh, so we're losing a lot of people that have uh, contributed a lot. And. Uh, if by any chance Fast Freddy happens to look at this video, thank you for everything that you contributed. I'm sorry that uh, that you had troubles, uh, or people made sure you had troubles in your life, threatening your wife and whatnot. Um, and for those of you that don't know, uh, Fast Freddy duplicated what uh, uh, Stanley Myers did. He was running his car on water. And he had a machine shop, and he was showing everybody how to tune their pipes and how to make their hydrogen generators to take uh, the least amount of current as possible so they can do the same. And when it come time, uh, people were going down, and he was going to give them the actual numbers for the tuning. Um, his wife got a snake put in her car. And uh, I don't know what else happened uh, shortly after that. All of his uh, videos got pulled off of YouTube. And uh, about a year before uh, that happened, when I first started watching Fast Freddy, uh, I showed my wife and told her, you know, to, to take notice because he probably won't be on there too long. I've watched Free Energy long enough to see what happens. But uh, times are changing. Times are changing. Uh, we're heading towards free energy. It's going to happen. Um, wish it would happen a little bit faster than it is, but I can see it moving in that direction. So we got electric cars. Uh, thanks to Tesla Motors, they've shown that you can have electric cars that run on free energy. And for anybody that wants to challenge that, you know. <laughs> Solar panels is what they charge the cars with. And you can charge a car, I think, in less than an hour. Which, uh, most of us understand that's almost impossible. So there's something else besides just solar energy. And uh, before uh, Elon Musk started Tesla Motors, uh, I guess early in his career he used to build capacitors. Which for any of us free energy free energy guys uh, know that capacitors is pretty much the heart of uh, free energy. It kind of duplicates what the ionosphere does. 
uh, that helps produce lightning. So I'm assuming that he's probably got something similar to something like this that runs, it doesn't take much energy to run, so a solar panel will run it with no problem. And uh, you can pretty much adjust how much energy you want to charge the battery simply by how many coils. I'm not saying that's what he did, I really don't know. I just find it hard to believe it's just solar panels. But, just my opinion. So now it's settled back down to 5.2. No, it's still bouncing 5.3. Okay. Alright. See if I can make it hit. See if I can make it hit 5.4. It'd probably take longer than, the, than I want this video to be. You see it's holding 5.3 just as long as it's running. I'll spin it a couple times and See if I can get it to show me a four. Come on, four. No, not a two. Probably going to take longer than uh, than I have here and see a four. Spinning it by hand. Of course, I've done this before, and all of a sudden it take off and start running. Because if you do this enough and it's not taking much energy out of the primary battery, uh, once the charge battery comes up enough. Um, It'll actually aid in helping to run the system also. So we got a four. Which is kind of odd, but I found found out uh, early on that that's a fact. Um, as if you get two batteries that are conditioned really good, uh, golf cart batteries, I think is what I had, six volt golf cart batteries, and I conditioned them, I, I brought them back from the dead I think the highest one, I had four of them, and the highest one, the voltage was like three volts, and went all the way down to a volt and a half. And I conditioned them, and I had them, uh, for a while, it, for about five weeks, it ran on its own without having to be charged. And when I started writing down where the voltages was at on the primary battery and the charge battery, the one thing that I noticed is when the charge battery started going up and the primary battery would start going down and then when it would uh, it would hit a point and then the primary battery would actually start charging again and the charge battery start going down so it was like a teeter-totter effect and that's what it did for five weeks I mean as cool as it was and it was running on its own you know uh, I wasn't charging batteries you know, for, for any other purpose. So, I stopped playing with it and just started charging batteries again. And, uh, kind of lost track of exactly what setup I had and what kind of magnets and all that. Because I've kept modifying my Bedini and changing the magnets and building new ones. And I can't really even honestly remember which one it was that, that uh, was running on its own. So, I'm still... Yeah, part of me wants to try to duplicate it, and then the other part just says, why? You know, it works. You know, people are going to believe or they're not going to believe. That's just the way it is. You know, and then most of us, we pretty much have to do it ourselves before we can believe something like that. It kind of has to happen to you. I mean, you can remain open-minded about it, but... To believe it's pretty much got to, has to happen. Well, 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. I know my wife's going to appreciate me showing all the mess that I uh, did on her table. She's going to wring my neck by the time she gets home. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, I ain't going to bore anybody. I just, I'm going to sit here and play a little bit more. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you for watching, and God bless.